Good morning, Kristen. Yeah, that's right. So we are diving into some seriously cool tech from 3M, the WorkTunes Connect plus solar hearing protector. Imagine a headset that charges itself with light, no outlets needed whatsoever. So to talk more about this and how solar powered innovation is making waves and what it means for 3M sustainability goals and how it stacks up against the market, I am joined now by Mike Leninga. He's 3M's Global Communications Senior Strategist. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Trinity. Thanks for having me. Here. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, we saw our earlier story, which we covered last year when we were uh, looking at headphones that were more industrial focused. But yep. now this is more consumer facing. Talk to me more about what you brought here today. Absolutely. Yeah. So 3M, we're just an innovation powerhouse. We're always thinking, how can we innovate? How can we get better? So the headset you mentioned was more for that industrial worker. Mm -hmm. You need to be able to communicate with your colleagues. This is for the consumer market. Mm -hmm. You're at home, you're mowing your lawn, leaf blowing, snow blowing, things get loud. You need to protect your hearing. Yeah. First and foremost, that's what we're after. But here's the kicker. Um, you need a lot of single use batteries, you know, double, double A's, gotta be switching them out. Um, you no longer need that with this headset. Mm -hmm. We have a solar cell on top that will continuously charge with outdoor and even indoor light. Yeah. It's a real game changer for that market. So let me see these right here. So you're yeah. saying that right now, what we're seeing, I don't know if we can maybe get a close-up shot of this for our viewers who are tuning in at home, but uh, so you're saying that right now, this area right here at the top is what gets all the power from the natural light, but both indoor light as well. Correct, yeah, this is called power foil, and we partner with a Swedish tech company mm -hmm. called Exiger. Yeah. Um, Multi-year partnership, uh, we're even thinking ahead about where else can we put this technology. Um, but yeah, you're outside mowing your lawn, uh, power tools in the sun, this will continuously charge. It's a lithium ion battery inside, mm -hmm. holds a 41 hour charge. Um, it does come with a USB-C if you ever really need to plug it in and charge, but you shouldn't need to. Mm -hmm. um, just stick it in your window, stick it in your dash at night, and you'll be good to go the next morning. And I do want to talk to you about the inspiration, the motivation behind this creation, and how this value proposition will help your business strategy moving forward in this new collaboration. Sure, absolutely. Well, first and foremost, again, we're, we're after to protect hearing. Yeah. Um, but going forward, I mean, we all know single-use batteries, where do they end up? They end up in landfills. That's not good for the environment. Um, millions and millions every single year just with headsets like these could end up there. So not only is this an innovation and a, and a business story, but it's also a sustainability story, which is something that is very, very near and dear to our heart at mm -hmm. 3M. And you know, you are here for some innovation, overall innovation, I want to say, with 3M, with your Young Scientist program. Yes, talk, to me, talk to me about the event. I mean, you've been here all day. You're going to be here all day. Just talk to me about everything that you guys are of doing. Of course, yeah. So the 3M Young Scientist Challenge, it's uh, 17 years that we've been doing this middle school challenge in partnership with Discovery Education where we name America's top young scientists. Mm -hmm. And these kids are amazing, Trinity. I mean, they invent things that sometimes are even over my head. <laughs> That's not saying much, but it's, it's incredible. So this year, uh, Suresh Sabash, he invented a handheld device that will detect pesticides on your produce. Um, he got tired of his mom and dad telling him to wash his fruit, so he really wanted to try to prove to see if <laughs> pesticides were on there. So yeah. he invented this handheld device. He won our competition. We're now in New York, going to ring the bell this morning. We're really excited. I'm so excited. And, you know, I know uh, my colleague Kristen's going to be speaking with him a little bit later on in the show, but I do want to talk to you about how you see the future of AI and technological advancements really shaping the overall business strategy of 3M and what's to come for the rest of 2024 and into 2025. Yeah, I mean, I think we're all looking at AI and how we can implement it um, internally in our products. Um, I know we've got a team at 3M that, that is dedicated to that. Um, it's interesting, even our employees are, are using it just to do their everyday work inside. So you're seeing all these different areas where we can use it and leverage it um, to work alongside automation, robotics, AI. Mm -hmm. um, it's really exciting time. And you know, I know that you're already planning CES. Uh, yes. We talked last year at CES in Las Vegas and you have a lot of uh, exciting things that you're gonna be showcasing there. Can you give us a little bit of a preview of what's to come? Yeah, I'll give you a little bit of a taste for what we're doing. <laughs> so again, at 3M, um, we like to bring in customers' problems and help solve them. Really complex, complicated issues. So what we're gonna be showing at CES with our customers showing up side by side is um, problems that we helped them solve mm -hmm. and uncomplicate those problems. So you'll have, oh, seven or eight different sort of 
examples, high profile examples at CES. We're obviously going to do it in a very visual, very fun way for the attendees there. Um, but it should be a, a great chance to show up side by side with our customers. Now, briefly, we have about 45 seconds left, and we're going to see uh, you know your whole team up there on that bell podium with the young scientist stringing that opening bell. But I do want to talk about how programs like this shape the future of innovation. Sure. You know, I think it starts with just inspiration. You know, these these kids hear about these former winners, and then they get inspired to create something. Come to this program, try to win. Um, inspiration, education. Um, and then it's all about emboldening them to go on that next career path, whether it's in college, um, you know, some of these kids end up at MIT, CEOs. Um, so it's really a launching pad for that next generation, and that's what we're all about, because we have thousands of scientists at 3M trying to create what's next in the world. What's next in the world? Thank you so much, Mike. It's always a pleasure speaking with you. Thanks for having us. Now I'm going to throw it back to my colleague, Kristen Scholler. She is in Studio One. So, I mean, Kristen, you saw a preview of these headphones. Do you think that it's going to make your holiday wish list? I don't know, Trinity. I want to see you try them on. I got to see how all they right, fit around the All right, all right. Just because you asked me so nicely. Let's Hold take on. A look. <laughs> yes. How, how, how does it look? I think <laughs> I think that you got you got it sold for 3M. You Mike's know it's so funny because when you were up. actually talking, the noise completely canceled out what you were saying. So we That's just got we these tested approved. They do work very well. <laughs> I like the lawn mowing example. That was great. Of I know. course, solar powered. Uh, very cool. Great to see the technology. Uh, That's my colleague Trinity Chavez, of course, in studio uh, with the communications lead at 3M.